Russia's secret intelligence agency hacked, largest data breach in its history. Here's a summary of the article. The hackers managed to steal 7.5 terabytes of data from a major contractor, exposing secret FSB projects to de-anonymize Tor browsing, scrape social media, and help the state split its Internet off from the rest of the world. A week ago, on July 13, hackers under the name 0v1 Rudaler reportedly breached Cytec, a major FSB contractor working on a range of live and exploratory Internet projects. BBC Russia broke the news that 0v1 Rudaler had breached Cytec servers and shared details of contentious cyber projects, projects that included social media scraping, targeted collection and the de-anonymization of users of the Tor browser. The BBC described the breach as possibly the largest data leak in the history of Russian intelligence services, as well as defacing Cytec's homepage with the Yoba face. 0v1 Rudaler also detailed the project names exposed, Arian, Relation, Harivnya, alongside the names of the Cytec project managers. The projects themselves appear to be a mix of social media scraping, targeted collection against Internet users seeking to anonymize their activities, data collection targeting Russian enterprises, and projects that seem to relate to Russia's ongoing initiative to build an option to separate the internal Internet from the World Wide Web. The BBC claims that Cytex projects were mostly contracted with military unit 71330, part of FSB's 16th directorate which handles signals intelligence, the same group accused of emailing spyware to Ukrainian intelligence officers in 2015. Internet service providers would be compelled to disconnect from any foreign servers, relying on Russia's DNS instead. There is nothing newsworthy in the projects exposed here, everything was known or expected. This post received a score of 24,505, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I'm sure we can count on WikiLeaks to release all of it. Yes, maybe if WikiLeaks have a leak. Awful plumbers to the rescue. I'm a Swedish plumber and I'm here to fix your pipes. A leather shop, in Arizona? You'll be out of business in a week's time. I'm gonna whip this little bitch in the face. DU gangly uncoordinated bitch, I am not getting hogtied over your lack of grace. D, I swear you would be of more use to me if I skinned you and turned your skin into a lampshade or fashioned you into a piece of high-end luggage. Add you to my collection. The smell you bitch, you haven't thought of the smell. 7.5 terabytes of data, Jesus. That's about how much porn I brought on my last deployment. It's not really that much for an intelligence agency to have, or that much porn to have. The NSA stored till this day 2 to 7 exabytes of information on Americans and still collects data till 2018 and probably still does. Yeah, as much as people like to think of Russian hackers as being at the top of the game, really the US has them way outclassed in capabilities. The only reason that Russia seems to be more capable is actually due to the fact that they're way more sloppy, which means that they get caught more often, so a lot of people associate Russia with hackers, but really a lot of their techniques lack sophistication and are mostly things like phishing, trolling, and using botnets, which you don't need much tech knowledge to pull off. That's not to say their techniques are ineffective, usually the lowest hanging fruit is still worth going for, but I mean, of the most sophisticated attacks we know about, pretty much all of them have some US involvement. Great work hackers. Fucking badass making big bad Russia look like a bunch of fucking fools. Kudos. Also their economy might collapse. Doesn't it do that every leap year? Let's make it permanent. It already is. Russia does it to itself. It's a cycle. The economy will collapse because the elected officials are stealing from the people and hoarding the money. Therefore, the elected officials understand how temporary their power is, so they desperately steal and hoard their money so that their family won't starve when Russia collapses again. Times are hard so they steal from each other so times are hard. Ah, Russia, no matter what form of government you have, you'll always screw it up. Release the data. They did. They turned it over to all major media outlets. So, Monday? Can I buy it on DVD? Based on the Twitter account and the image used for the deface, I think that the hacker group is not affiliated with the Western countries and most likely belongs to the anarchy-aligned ones. Therefore probably all the data will be released to the public, unless the hackers get greedy. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech.
The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.